AutoZoneSale.com here for a review of the OtterBox Trooper 20. Many of you guys at home wanted to see this cooler, so we went ahead and got it and we did an ice retention test on that. We just are wrapping that up with the OtterBox Trooper 20, 30, as well as the Ingle HD. Uh, OtterBox advertises three days ice retention with this particular model. We went a day and a half, but that was only 10 pounds of ice and it only filled up about 20, 25% of the way. So if we had an entire cooler full of ice, I think we definitely could go three days, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, I would put this on par with the Yeti Hopper, the Grizzly Drifter, the Torrit, a few others that we've reviewed. I'll link to that in the description below in our past soft-sided coolers. So on par with those, like I said, a day and a half, but again, we only used 10 pounds of ice and it was pretty extreme. As you can see, we are now 95 degrees on the surface of this cooler. It can hold 28 beverages to give you an idea of how, how large this is, 28 cans, I should say, how large this cooler is, and it is a limited lifetime warranty. It is one of the most expensive soft-sided coolers that you can get out there on the OtterBox website. I think this is about 269, depending on the time of year, so rather pricey for a soft-sided cooler, but again, you get that warranty, and in my opinion, it's one of the best designed. Having said that, it is a very quirky opening system. I wanna show you guys that up close because it is something completely different than any other cooler that I've ever reviewed. So take a look at this. So another point that OtterBox mentions is one-handed opening. So you can just open this. It's a latch like this and then opens. And I call this a semi-rigid soft-sided cooler. Although it is a soft-sided, you can definitely squeeze in on the sides like that, it still holds its shape. So I call this kind of like a semi-rigid soft-sided cooler. Now the one thing that I will say is OtterBox does uh, advertise the one-handed opening. What I found difficult as well as my wife is the one-handed closing. So if you look at this and you close this, you got to get this latch up over this little hump right here. So what we were doing a lot of times was just kind of, well, right now it's not a very good example, but if you don't get that all the way down, you can't close it. So you have to have this all the way down and then you got to get this latch up over this little notch here and then close it. So sure, it is one-handed opening and closing, but you need to understand how this thing works. It just takes a couple times to, uh, to figure out what's going on. You also have a water resistant pocket on the front, and I'll show you what that looks like on the inside. You just can put uh, whatever, you do, whatever you don't have in the cooler in there. And they also advertise a watertight seal. So if you guys are gonna take this on the boat, you don't want any water getting in, you don't want it to tip over in the back of an SUV or back of a car or whatever and get water everywhere. I'll do that right now. We still have the water remaining in here from our ice retention test. So as you can see, this is watertight. Uh, it's no, there's no leaking from the water in the inside. And I will show you that we do have water in here left over from the ice retention test. We still have the melted water from, or the ice that was from the ice retention test. We have water in there. So definitely a watertight seal. One of the more expensive soft-sided coolers, but I do like it. A lot of my family members and friends have said they like this as a day cooler or a lunch box. I'm gonna have a full review of this cooler on CoolersOnSale.com, and you'll be able to also see the ice retention results on there as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the uh, suggestion of this cooler because I hadn't considered this until you guys suggested it at home. So if you wanna see something, drop us a comment, drop us an email, whatever it is. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up. It's what helps us keep going. We'll be back next time for more video reviews.